Hi, this is Hannah, and you're watching Zach Archer. All right, let's talk about Citizen Queen. So the last time I talked about them was November 2021. And boy, has a lot changed since then. Literally, the last video I watched from them was the last video they did with Hannah when Hannah was still there. Now, since then, not only is Hannah not there, but Kayla's not there either. So let's talk about it. I know it's been years since I've talked about them, but as I've always said with this channel, the videos, if I'm covering artists and saying I love them, I really do mean it. And I will go and then I'll listen to them in my own time. It's not just for videos or anything. So I have been keeping up with them for the, the past few years. And um, when they lost Hannah, that was kind of a big blow at the time because Hannah was like one of my favorites. I really liked her. And um, I was like, dang, moving forward as a four, it doesn't hit as much as a five person group. But then they immediately proved me wrong when they came out with their click EP, I believe it was an EP. Yeah. It's their debut EP, Click. And that was amazing. Genuinely amazing. I mean that. I'm not just saying like, oh, it was so good. I, it was one of my favorite albums. Maybe my favorite album I listened to. Uh, EP, album, whatever. That year. And uh, I still would love to do a video on that separately. Because I think it's deserving of one. It's like really good. As far as like girl groups, songs, um in girl group music it's like top notch um worth noting i think yeah even at the time in, in, around 2021 i think they were still operating more so on an acapella basis that was what they were that's what i always thought they would be but then they again they switched it their whole style and um the click ep proved a lot of things to me first it proved they can do just fine with four they've done they're doing their literally their best work with four people and also, I think their voices and their their vibe works a lot better with regular instrumentation and the producing that goes with regular music versus acapella. Uh, I thought it was great and it surprised me that it worked because those were two things I was hesitant on. But they proved me wrong. They shut me up. That's it. Um, now, just recently, just a few months ago, they announced that Kalo is leaving the group. So now they're down to a trio. And since then, they've only released one song which is Love the Way I Love You, which I do really enjoy. It's very, it's beautiful. Um, so no complaints there. Uh, but as much as it's a great product, I do feel like Missing Kayla is a huge hit. In terms of their whole vibe and the texture of the group. Like she added such a unique voice to it. And I really loved her contributions to the EP in particular as well. Um, she was always a standout. Um, and I loved the whole dynamic of the four and how they each had moments to shine and everything. You go down to a trio, it's in a tough spot, especially for a girl group. Because now it's like girl group territory where it's like you lose one more member. Uh, it's it's over. And that's it's very like we're on uh, unsteady ground now. Um, but I do want to say, yeah, if, if you find this video... Um, Cora, Nina, Katie, if you see this video, no hate whatsoever. I absolutely love the music you guys have put out. Um, we've only seen one song since you three are together, so I'm looking forward to and I'll be here for whatever you have, whatever the future is for y'all. But I do want to say that, yeah, I've been super impressed with Citizen Queen over the last few years. and But it's sad how quickly to lose a member, like... They hadn't like released any, yeah, not even an EP at the time when we lost Hannah. And now we haven't released an album when we lost Kayla. So it's just sad, that part of it. But we saw, you know, Pentatonix recovered and they went on. Um, but of course they needed to replace that. So that's the thing. If they're not replacing memories, it becomes interesting. But I do love these three and their voices, so... Really looking forward to seeing where we go from here. Uh, if we have any Citizen Queen fans here, let me know your thoughts on the whole situation. How do you feel about it? Um, I'm looking forward to more music. Hopefully they have plans to put out like something, something more as well, rather than these random drops. <clears throat>
but still, I, I still will go back and listen to that EP a lot over and over again. Uh, it's very catchy and, and some great songs in there. I want to do start doing more videos on specific albums and EPs and things like that. Uh, I definitely have plans and different ideas I want to experiment with when it comes to my music coverage on this channel. And stay tuned. I hope you uh, stay tuned and, and look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it myself. So until next time, guys, take care.